wonder how my audio is. I actually found out something interesting. You know that rattle that's been in a lot of my videos? That's You can hear it when I'm talking and when the camera's moving around. I found out what the problem was. It wasn't the holder of the microphone. It was the microphone itself. So, uh, this is this is a dud. I actually need this to make videos at the show, so I'm buying another one, and my friend Matt is gonna bring it from Vegas uh, to, to Flagstaff. My friend Matt is gonna be at the, at the show. If you guys don't know Matt, Matt met me in Nepal for my climb up Everest, and he met me, and we both did the um, uh, the Sondong Cave Expedition in the jungles of, of Vietnam and he even came to Ningbo and, and saw me in China one of my good friends yeah so my audio is gonna be whatever it is right now I'm sorry if it's uh, a little bit weird Alright guys, we're just outside of Flagstaff and I'm at a car wash. I have a few things to handle, but I'd like to have a, a clean van. So we're, we're going to wash the van, at least around the outside edges here, and, and uh, make sure that it's in good shape. Looking good for the, for the cameras. To be honest, it's not that hard to clean. It's a lot of very, very flat surfaces. But I think it'll do for now. I think this is the cleanest, the cleanest he's been. He or she, I think it's gotta be a he. All right, so I am in Flagstaff outside of the uh, Kinko's and I, and I gave them my uh, instructions for what I want. And so this is my flyer for Making a social media income, and it's pretty nice. It has my face on the back. They wanted me to talk about how I made social media income, and the other one is from cycling to van life, and it and it goes through my experiences on the trike, and uh, basically just talks about Asia travel and uh what it's if you guys don't know what i'm talking about the the expo is tomorrow well check-in is tomorrow the overland expo and uh, i'm going to be teaching two sessions they call them sessions and so i printed up some material for it so i i designed them and had them sent to the kinkos here and then i can pick it up um a lot of uh a lot of rvs a lot of big vehicles a lot of uh vehicles with caps on them <laughs> yeah. I know I'm in Flagstaff, that's for sure. My friend Dean is uh, meeting up with some people. Dean is the guy I met in the parking lot. Dean is pretty much why I'm here. I owe a lot to Dean. At least a couple of beers. This is sort of an interesting milestone. I'm gonna leave the van and meet some of the guys for the event. This is uh, Home Depot. And I was told that this parking lot is okay to park at for a couple of nights. So I think we'll be good there. It's just one night. After this, I will, I'll be parked at the uh, event. <clears throat> but I sort, of, I sort of feel nervous leaving the old boy. Or the young boy. He's a baby boy. Has all my stuff in it. I used to leave the trike every so often, but... 
I could pretty much put everything that was mattered, mattered in that trike in my backpack. And there's a few extra things that I'm carrying in that van. It'll be okay. This place is monitored by cameras. You can smell Flagstaff. <laughs> it is uh, piney. It is fresh. It smells like something you'd hang inside your car to have it smell like, well, like Flagstaff. Anyways, I've got about a two-mile uh, two walk before I get there. Lots of vans. Lots of vans here. Should be a fun event. Tomorrow is registration, so I will uh, go there er well, not too early, I think afternoon, and uh, stake out a spot, uh, get inside, and then settle in. I think tomorrow morning I'll go to the gym, because I think tonight I'm gonna go drinking with some of the guys. It actually feels good to walk around a little bit. Uh, sitting in that chair for the entire day is not all it's cracked up to be. 3 a.m. The calf. I, I gotta imagine they have some sort of like that sort of thing. This is 93 FM. The calf calling out to all the Overlanders out there. Enjoy the Overland Expo. C A F F. The calf. That's the way I envision it. I just realized something sort of unnerving. I haven't been walking in a long time. Just like walking. I, uh, I bought that van, I've been in America, but on tour, normally on the trike tour, I'm either cycling or walking, and I'm actually doing quite a bit of walking on the tour. I've got to make sure to not use that van to, to its fullest potential to give me some opportunities to kind of stop and smell the roses with my feet. Yeah, I'm very curious to see how I slip into this van life culture. Even when I started triking, it evolved over time. I got more comfortable, you know, with certain certain sorts of traveling techniques. There's a hotel there with a, a few van life vans in it. You have people that when they're in the cities, they're preferring the, the hotels. Maybe when they're out in the country, you know, they, then they get rough in it, but it's not a bad idea to have a home base when you're at an event like this. You can clean up, you know. Nice to be clean. What do you guys think? You think that Jaya World Tour, we can do it in the Bantha? I think the tires are about up to my ass. Oh, <laughs> they're over my ass. Yeah, so this event has uh, has uh, like a pub crawl, it's sort of like a pub crawl, right? How many places? Four that I know of. Four. So we're just grabbing beers, hanging out. Yeah. Hey guys, how's Hi. it going? Hi, good. Thank you. Is there still beer? There is still beer. See that young lady with the blue mask on? <laughs> is, there, is there still beer? The ultimate question. Daily Driver, um, the Golden Ale, and this is their latest one that they are just now debuting tonight. Um, it is the Colorado Confluence. Um, it's kind of like a lighter version of the Daily Driver if you've ever had it. I'll try this new one. They got a bunch of cool, cool. How do you pronounce that? Cool. Is it just? I gotta imagine that like where that brand originated, they probably look at people that say cool and they're like, just smoke I think it's away. Part of yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. I love that brand. We'll go left. Yep. How's it going? All right, we're on to the next place. A pub crawl, but it's not pubs. It's outdoor outfitters. <laughs> in and out, in and out, in and out. Now we're walking to the next bar. I, I haven't done this in a very long time. It, it, it isn't until you experience it that you realize, wow, I haven't just walked around a quaint little town Drinking some beer, hanging out with friends in a long time. Tomorrow should be interesting. The next few days should be interesting. I'm excited, man. There is so much on the horizon. I'm really excited to like <laughs> start telling stories and sharing experiences. And I'm, I'm legit interested in that. Like, that's exciting. We are at the uh, next stop on the 
beer tour. I'm having a, a, a hazy beer with a lot of head in it. There's, there's a lot of head on that beer. It's kind of funny. This is a solar light camping light. I'm pretty sure that I, I know the factory in China that makes or that made the original one of those. <laughs> it's so weird to be a guy that, that has lived in China for so long. I, I know a lot of the factories that make the stuff that's, that's, that's everywhere. I mean, China just makes everything. There's a whole lot of trains in America. A lot of trains. I've seen a lot of trains today. I wanted to get a video of me driving the van alongside a train with the drone following me, but I just, every time I saw a train, I tried to get off an exit. By the time I got off the exit, the train was already passed by. But some of these trains are really long though. Super long. All right guys, we have, we have finished the day. I've, I've left Dean. I have a, a bunch of beers in me and some pizza. Maybe the pizza was a bit too much. Actually, I, <laughs> I could use some more pizza to dilute the, uh, the beer, but, but I'm okay. But uh, yeah, I like Flagstaff. When my van is built, when I'm on a uh, full-on full -on tour mode, I will be sharing with you interesting experiences from all over America. But for now, I'm, I'm focused on getting that van the way I want it so that I can have the studio in order to tell those stories. I am very, <laughs> I am trying to articulate my words without slurring. I hope I'm doing a good job. But my truck is parked at Home Depot. I'm gonna go <laughs> hopefully see him in his original condition and I'm gonna lay down and, and crash. And then tomorrow we have the event. I realize I've probably lost a bunch of subscribers that enjoy my China content or enjoy my, you know, I have a myriad of different things that, uh, <laughs> that have defined my channel. But uh, this, new, this new project is gonna be interesting. So stick around, like, please like the video because the more people like it, the more Google recognizes that this is a video people like. I'm kind of reinventing myself yet again, but it's gonna be fun. Take it easy, Jaya, bye bye.